Welcome back for another video about HAProxy. In this video, I'll be describing ACLs. ACL stands for Access Control List. ACLs are essential to getting the most out of HAProxy. Here's how they work. As traffic flows through your load balancer, various data about the requests are captured into variables. Those variables are called fetches. Examples of fetches are the client's source IP address and port, the URL that was requested, the HTTP headers attached to the request, and other data associated with the client or message. An ACL is a conditional statement that uses fetches to see whether a request or connection matches some criteria. Then if the condition is true, you can trigger an action. Actions include denying the request, choosing the pool of servers to handle the request, adding, removing, and modifying HTTP headers, rewriting the URL, and other operations that route or change the message. Let's look at a few examples. Suppose you wanted to inspect traffic as it flowed through HAProxy and check the requested URL. If the URL path matched a certain string, you'd like to route the request to a specific pool of servers. Take a look at the following example. An ACL is defined with the ACL keyword. Its first parameter is the name that you want to assign to the ACL. So in this case, I've named mine is underscore API. The rest of the line is dedicated to the condition that you want to check. So in this case, I'm using the path begins fetch to check whether the URL path begins with slash API. If it does, then this ACL will return true. I can then reference the name is underscore API in any actions that I want to take. So on the next line, I'm using a use underscore backend directive to choose the backend pool of servers depending on my condition. So here, if the path is slash API, then the backend API underscore servers will be selected. The nice thing about using an ACL statement is you can reuse it throughout multiple places in your configuration. However, you can also define an inline ACL if you only need to use it once. Take a look at the next example. Here, I want to deny any requests that originate from IP addresses in the range 10.10.2.0 slash 24. In this case, I'm using the SRC or source fetch to get the client's source IP address. I'm then comparing it to see whether it's in the given IP range. The HTTP dash request deny rule rejects any requests that meet the certain criteria. Whereas the use underscore backend directive selects a certain pool of servers depending on a condition, the HTTP dash request deny line rejects requests if they match a certain condition. You can also chain ACLs together like this. Here, I've put two ACLs back to back. The first checks whether the path begins with slash API, and the second checks whether the client's source IP address falls within the range 10.10.2.0 slash 24. If both conditions are true, then the action will be taken. You can also use an OR statement to trigger an action if one or the other condition is true. In the next example, I deny the request if the path ends with a .php extension or if the host header is missing. I've gone back to using explicit ACL directives. The first ACL, which I've called is underscore PHP, uses the path underscore end fetch to check whether the path ends with .php. The second ACL, which I've called host underscore found, uses a request dot header fetch to check whether the host header has been found. Then I use an HTTP dash request deny line to deny the request if either is PHP is true or post found is false. As you can see, ACLs are a powerful and flexible feature within HAProxy. There are also lots of other actions you can take besides just denying a request or choosing the pool of servers. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to our channel for more.